Hello again. Still Saturday. Whoa, what a really stinking hot day it is today. You don't realise it until you actually are here. How hot it can be. But by, when you've got really nothing much you can do outside, your mind goes on a wander. And I think we all know how many Filipina men uh, desert their pregnant girlfriends and wives for a uh, better life elsewhere. But um, I wonder if they ever think about their children apart from maybe putting pictures of them as they steal them from the different people's Facebooks. But <clears throat> what about the foreigners? What about the foreigners who no longer speaking with their kids? their children, their young adults. Maybe we should give a bit of thought to those too. Because so often when you decide to move from one country to the other, England to Australia, Australia to New Zealand, maybe America to Mexico, both of those places, it's not about distance, it's about the availability or the wherewithal to meet up again. So, of course, you get the inevitable suggestion that I didn't ask you to move to the other side of the world, Dad. Just because you want to follow that lady. Of course, that is totally emotional blackmail. And to use those sorts of phrases, they know that they will really annoy you or certainly hurt your feelings. But kids can be quite cruel when they want to be. They will, in a divorce, they will decide which one they're going to align themselves with, quite often just to appease maybe the mother. Occasionally they might visit the father or allow the father to take them out on a special date. But otherwise, Generally, they move on. And it's the father, generally, also, that ends up without the children. He may well be being paying child support, alimony, all those things, but he rarely gets a chance to be with his child because they hold so many, I suppose, grudges or bad feelings about as if it was his fault probably prompted by conversations they had with their mother. I've always been one that it's best not to uh, rubbish the other side and therefore they can't point the finger at me saying, I told you your mother was like this. But back to the point of, that I come to is that times when there's not much to do in a house, sometimes your mind goes back to thinking, I wonder if I went back periodically whether things might repair themselves or maybe become better. I really don't think so because children today or young adults today really don't give a stuff about their parents and it's all about what they can get out of them rather than what they can give to you. Here in the Philippines, of course, we hear every day, family is everything. And I tend to agree that children tend to stay with their mother, or certainly in contact with their mother more than maybe the boys. But that's a, a woman thing, woman to woman. As they grow older, they realize that one day, maybe mum might be needed to be a babysitter for their daughter or their son yet to be born. But overseas, back to overseas, foreigners tend to often refer to their past as if the children are no longer part of that past anymore because in a way they've become estranged to them. Some of them you have occasionally good relationships like I have with my son in New Zealand. 
But as far as the other two in Australia, and the uh, daughter in New Zealand, and my son in England, it's almost like I don't exist. So, even though they don't go out of my mind, I'm sure they don't give me two seconds worth of thought themselves. Or maybe I'm being sarcastic. But we all live in hope. Maybe one day they'll wake up and think, I wonder if Dad's still alive. Maybe I should give him a ring. You often see movie stars saying, call home, ring your mum and dad. Maybe these children, these young adults, need to remember that too. Because they are where they are, because of you. And they must remember that when they have children, imagine it happening to them. Is that the only time they'll start to get a feeling of maybe they didn't do the right by their father? So, it's just a thought for the day. And no doubt there'll be some that will say how they have wonderful relationships and I praise you. But there'll also be those that will look in sadness to what they've lost or left behind. Because sometimes they have to leave them behind simply because to not do so would be just to tear themselves more and more apart. So if you like this video, give us a thumbs up. Even if you didn't like it, give us a thumbs up anyway. So, you have a great day, and hopefully it'll be a bit cooler tomorrow, so on Sunday. Bye now.